We are headed to the Baldwin Park hydrogen station. I've been here a couple times. Um, so most of the time had a pretty good experience. One time um, I was in line because of some hydrogen issue for about an hour and a half, which was obscure, but uh, I couldn't go anywhere because um, I was essentially out of hydrogen. That was the one time. Outside of that, it's been pretty smooth, but we're gonna head over there now. I'm about to uh, turn in soon, and then I'll share my experience at the Baldwin Park True Zero Hydrogen Station. It's uh, sprinkling a little bit today, but the Baldwin Park Station is at this Chevron station on this corner. This is again a True Zero station. I'm gonna pull in now. Looks like no one's here. Let's try this first one. All right, just parked. We're gonna open the fuel door. Put the cap on. All right, POS system seems to be working. Interesting uh, tape cover there. We're gonna insert our card. Receipt today. Zip code. So hopefully, everything is smooth. Brush your fingers. Pump is ready. Let's see. What's up? And we are fueling successfully. So again, we are at the Baldwin Park hydrogen station, uh, True Zero. I saw a uh, Hyundai, Hyundai like semi here prototyping, but uh, yeah, we are here. And here is the hydrogen box but yeah the station is usually pretty busy um, not as busy as Placentia from my experience but um, it's right off the highway which is nice if you're heading toward LA um, off the 10 uh, it's really convenient but definitely more uh, it's it you can't find hydrogen you can't really find good hydrogen stations that are close to here, which is kind of um, sucky. So it's just this, I believe, and then the next one's kind of further away. But uh, in Orange County, there seems to be a handful of them relatively close to each other. But we are at the Baldwin Park Station, and it looks to be filling up pretty normally. So that's a good sign. Yeah, I forgot to do a price check. It is still $26.75. Same price it's been for a while. It's gonna remove this. Try to do this one-handed today. So push in with the black and then pull with the blue. There we go. Right. Put the cover back on. So, uh, not entirely sure what this is. It says it's hydrogen, but I think it's more for uh, something going on with the inside, maybe. But good to go. Let's head back in. There we go, that was the Baldwin Park Hydrogen Station, True Zero. Hope this helps. 
All right, quick follow-up. It looks like it is related to the True Zero station. Let me know if anyone knows what this is. Hydrogen, refrigerated liquid. Interesting. I thought the purpose was to generate your own hydrogen at the stations with the compressor back there, but I assume the compressor is not working. But uh, and if anyone knows what this is. Alrighty, we are back because it didn't fill up a full tank. Um, I don't know why I didn't check more thoroughly, but uh, yeah, it's, um, I just noticed something for the POS system. When you type in your zip code, it give you it hides it, but then when you press enter, it shows the whole thing. So it's just, I don't know, interesting. Anyway, we're back here. We're gonna refill again. And here we go, 70, and we're back. So yeah, it didn't fill up all the way. It filled up probably a quarter. Um, so yeah, I still have some left to go. Yeah, we are at the Baldwin Park station. And something interesting is the that right there looks to be a hydrogen refueling tanker truck. Um, I don't know. I thought we were supposed to be creating hydrogen on site, but I guess not. Um, let's see if I can sneak. So we're at the Baldwin Park station. This is the hydrogen machine. Okay. All right, just put in $17. I know that's not enough. So this is try number three at the Baldwin Park True Zero station. I know before I said I didn't have many issues here. Used to be true. The pump is ready. Let's do this again. are pumping again try number three let's do it all right that was attempt number three let's see if it's full and yes we are full 316 